Generation Y is a, a term to describe a, a cohort of people uh, born from, say, uh, 1980 to around the mid-90s, who, because of the uh, conditions and experiences that they've, uh, they've grown up with, uh, share common preferences, attitudes and ways of seeing the world. Well, it's good to look at how uh, generational preferences form. Um, clearly, life stage is an, is an important factor. We're all young once and we all afford to, um, uh, to experiment. And obviously, as we get older, we take on more responsibilities and, and perhaps some of our preferences change. But it's just looking at age alone isn't enough. We also need to look at the conditions and uh, common experiences that groups of people have to try and get an understanding of the sort of ca characteristics a particular generational cohort may have on average. Everybody should uh, care about uh, Generation Y, not just ITV. I grew up with only three channels of television, didn't start till four o'clock in the afternoon, and I got in the habit of watching telly sort of one thing at a time. I've got teenage kids, I know that they've got a thousand channels available to them, they can surf around, they actually have their laptop open with lots of windows open and Facebook and Bebo and all these other, uh, other sites. So actually when the advert comes on, they've got other things to do. And that's obviously a communications preference. I think that's obviously clearly hugely significant to the ITV business model. So I think one of the, the key solutions is to enable uh, Gen Y to come up with the products and services that appeal to your Gen Y consumers. A great case study is Sony. Here's Sony, been going 50 years, they're a fantastic engineering company who, who miniaturise miniaturize things and do it, you know, refine and refine and refine and produce some great products. But Sony's loyal customer base, a sort of mid-40s uh, and, uh, and gracefully, gracefully getting older, uh, but also their engineers and their designers are also in that sort of demographic group. What Sony have noticed is that although they've identified market segments they want to sell product to, 14 to 18, 18 year olds, that they've, they've kind of been missing the target somewhat. And the great example is, is, is Apple and the iPod. Here's Apple, uh, a computer company who'd actually make anything, they outsource it, uh, everything, who had this great idea whenever it was, you know, eight, ten years ago, hey, let's put a hard drive, uh, you know, put some headphones on it, we'll create a website, we'll sell content, we'll create a whole new you know, sector, if, uh, if you like. And Sony, the company who invented the Walkman, didn't see it coming, even though they actually own huge swathes of content. And what they realised was that they needed to have their employee, their workforce, better representing the, the target segment. So it's not going to be the Gen X and Baby Boomer management coming up with their ideas. It's actually the Gen Y creating for Gen Y. Gen Y... Uh, have a, a you know, list of a wish list, a, some demands. Some may some may say uh, about sort of playing to their strengths, doing work they they love, uh, work they like, having an impact, being trusted, having a you know great manager and boss and so on. But if you listen to that list, actually, who doesn't want those things? One of the biggest differences or, or similarities between Gen Y and other generations is Gen Y appear to demand most of the things that actually. We all want, whatever age or generation we are, it's just that perhaps some of the older generations were conditioned not to expect them from day one. Generation Y are, are, are human beings, like the rest of us, they will change and react to the, re the recession. But what I, what I think will happen is they will change their behaviour in a different way to, to previous generation Gen X and, and, and baby boomers. And the danger is, is that Gen X and baby boomer management uh, make assumptions that there are, won't be necessarily valid. Generation Z, sort of very unimaginatively labelled, those born since, say, the mid-90s, uh, they, you know, they'll be in the workplace in the, next, in, the, in the next five years. And they are the first generation who've truly, truly grown up you know, from a very early age with the internet and the completely interactive internet. So they've actually generated content on social networking sites, Facebook, Bebo, whatever it, whatever it might be. So, and that generates a certain amount of expectation of, of how, the, how the world works. I think they will have even greater expectation of, of, of collaboration and control and co-creation, all these other things that the, the uh, technology is, uh, is, uh, is enabling. 